Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about FIFA 23 not launching or not opening and you receive certain errors, for example, secure but it is not enabled on this PC or anti-cheat errors and stuff like that. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a few options that you have and a few things that you can try in order to play the game. So when the game was launched last night for PC, I also encountered certain errors. For example, this is an error that I received and basically it says secure but is not enabled on this machine. Well, I have Windows 11 installed on this machine so it's kind of weird that it says that secure but is not enabled but in this video I'm going to show you also a few steps on enabling secure but and other things that you can try in order to make the game open or launch properly. Of course first of all you need to make sure that you have secure but enabled because FIFA 23 has a new anti-cheat so for PC hackers won't be able to hack as often because we have a new anti-cheat so for that anti-cheat FIFA 23 requires secure but. Now I know that not everyone has secure but on their motherboard but for now you need to have that enabled on Windows 11 at least on Windows 10 I've heard that you can also play without secure but but on Windows 11 you're gonna have to enable secure but now if you received the same error that I received I'm gonna leave you in the description below a link on a tutorial which shows you how to enable secure but step by step because it is not really that simple you also need to enable the UEFI mode and if you enable the UEFI mode and you have a MBR partition your system won't boot up anymore so it's kind of complicated, but you're going to have a link below in the description to a in-depth tutorial on how to enable secure boot on your computer. This is related to the secure boot error. Now, if you have certain errors regarding the anti-cheat that appears when you run the game, you can reinstall the anti-cheat. So how you can do that, you just enter into File Explorer and then go into Local Disk C, and then you go into Program Files x86, scroll down to Origin Games, and then go into FIFA 23. Go into the Installer folder, and here you will have EA anti-cheat. Now here, double click on this. On user account control, you're going to have to click on yes. And from this drop down, you're going to have to select FIFA 23 and then uninstall. This will basically uninstall the anti-cheat and then you can reinstall it. You have two options. You can press after you uninstall it on the install button, as easy as that. Or you can just click on uninstall, let it be uninstalled and run the game as administrator. This is also another option. You can find the game into the FIFA 23 folder, right click on it and then click on run as administrator because this will automatically reinstall install the anti-cheat. So of course, because they first time implemented this anti-cheat, a lot of errors will occur and we will need to find workarounds for certain errors that we may receive. Other things that you can try is to uninstall other anti-cheats that you have. So for example, if you play CSGO and you have face it anti-cheat, try to uninstall it and then restart the system. Or if you have, I don't know, anti-cheats for Valorant and other games, try to uninstall them and see if that helps you after the restart. A lot of users reported that that helped. Also, another thing that you can try is to disable your antivirus software. So for example, if you only have the Windows Defender, you can easily disable it by going into Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, and then Manage Settings, and then disable everything from here. In my case, this wasn't a problem, but if it's in your case, you can try to disable it. What I can tell you is that certain antivirus software that are third-party apps will try to interfere with this anti-cheat. So if you have Avast and other antiviruses, try to disable them just for a brief moment to see if the game works. And of course, right after you installed FIFA 23, try restarting your computer and also try always opening up FIFA 23 as administrator. So you can automate that by going again into the origin games folder, FIFA 23, and then right clicking on FIFA 23 and then on properties. And then you go into the compatibility tab and then you can enable run this program as administrator, then click on apply and okay. These are certain things that you can try that will help you run FIFA 23 smoothly because I've encountered myself some errors and hopefully this video will help you. Don't forget about the link in the description below that shows you in depth how to enable secure but it's really really helpful and also don't forget that in the description you're going to have an article with a few other things that you can try a few other steps that will help you run fifa 23 smoothly and with no errors like this i'm hoping that this video helped you and i'm hoping that you managed to play fifa 23 and um, if you enjoyed this video and if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the tech base channel until next time, have a nice day.